Today we were really excited to kick off the first of several events focused on the legacy of Jackie Robinson. And we started it at the same property where he went to elementary school. It now houses a school called Alma Fuerte. And we were able to come here and share a bit more about his legacy with students that are walking on the same grounds that he walked on all those years ago. One of the nice aspects of this event is not just talking about Jackie Robinson, but talking about the USO. And the USO and the kids are gonna make care packages for the service men and the service women. And that's another chapter of the Jackie Robinson story because Jackie Robinson was a member of the United States Army from 1942 to 1944. So it's not just Jackie Robinson, the baseball player. Jackie served our country. And today we're gonna to make care packages for those currently serving our country right now. And throughout his life, you would see, after serving in the military, Jackie still had the great ability to be a major league player. And not just a Dodger, but a Hall of Famer. I think it's so important to keep honoring Jackie Robinson and to keep that history alive just because of what he did, what he stood for. He opened the doors for people of color to play this sport. Um, he was the right man for the job. Um, they chose him for his humility, his strength, his toughness. And to be able to keep that open, open, that open door, because right now life is pressing so many people, knocking so many people down. And one thing that Jackie Robinson stood for was resilience and being able to get back up, brush yourself off, and keep going forward. So I really think to keep that door open, um, the opportunities for so many people to keep moving forward is really a big part of us today. Two, three. The Los Angeles Dodgers Foundation is really about tackling LA's most pressing problems. Our Dodgers Dream Team program is our sports-based youth development program that's aimed at ensuring that we are removing the social injustices to kids being able to participate in sport, but also to receive wraparound services and also to receive basic necessities. We can't do that without coaches. We can't do that without extreme partners who are working alongside us to make sure that our kids are getting what they need. It's extremely important for us to be able to continue to invest in the community, to make sure that our coaches are getting what they need on and off the field to show up for kids and to show up for kids who are in very unique circumstances sometimes when they leave the field. This is a day that holds true to pretty much uh, everybody here's heart, but especially mine. It's an honor to be out here. You know, I'd be doing a disservice to Jackie if I didn't kind of pour it back into the community and kind of like here or anything like that, and just kind of like everybody out here the same way. We're honoring him today on this special day. And I mean, you kind of look around and you're just seeing all these kids that look exactly like me, kids of color, and it's, it's, it's truly a humbling experience. We're out here with kids here from the LA area, getting a chance to play baseball and giving them a chance to learn life lessons, not just will help them in athletics, but also uh, throughout their lives. And obviously uh, representing Jackie Robinson today, uh, a guy that understood the value of hard work, commitment, following through on a promise, and these kids uh, are just carrying on that tradition. Thank you, Jackie! For me, this event, it's full circle. I played baseball here growing up. Uh, in like 1993, we had the same dugouts. It looked exactly the same, and now what the Dodgers Foundation and the Mookie Betts Foundation have done is brought in and made us look like a real high school program. And it's such a great feeling to know what we had before. And what I see now is it's almost life changing for our kids. They have never known anything different now seeing this amazing facilities for our players. So we're so appreciative. Jackie Robinson's life is kind of what we want to exemplify every day. You know, not to give up, to persevere. And we want to continue to honor his family. They still live in Pasadena. They still come out and support our events. And to have them present just means a lot for our kids to know that even though something happened in the past a while ago, it's so important to us this day. And the legacy that Jackie Robinson has built for our school, we have so much pride in carrying on his tradition and his legacy at John Muir High School. We have a privilege, it's an honor, to wear this uniform, our Major League uniforms that we do get to wear, and also to help the youth and young kids uh, through the Jackie Robinson Foundation, which is amazing. Welcome, everyone. The the fact that Jackie happened to be an idol, and when you have an opportunity to grow up eventually and, and meet your idol, it, it was very special. And I look at the things that Jackie provided 
before me as well as others, what he stood for and what he represented and the opportunities that he presented to us and all of us, no matter what color, because he brought it all together for us to be able to play this little boy's game and do it individually, collectively. Decades ago, the illustrious Mr. Jackie Roosevelt Robinson observed that a life is not important except in its impact upon other lives. It is all but impossible to grasp the full grandeur and majesty of a great mountain while standing in close proximity to it, as opposed to standing atop its heights. Likewise, we often fall short of an enduring comprehension of the magnitude and totality of the impact and contributions made by some even among the greatest of us until it becomes irrefutably demonstrable in retrospect that we stand taller, we see farther, we reach higher, and we grasp more because we stand on the shoulders of giants. And so it is with Jackie Robinson. Though his footsteps long ago ceased to be counted among those of the living, the reality is, owing to the content of his character, the caliber of his competence, competitiveness, and contributions, and the disposition and impact of his commitments to change both within and beyond the arena, his legacy to this day goes marching on. Welcome to Jackie Robinson Day. Jackie was the first baseball player in terms of black to play in the major leagues. He also, in his first year, was named Rookie of the Year. Not only was he great on the field, but he was great off the field, creating the Jackie Robinson Foundation. Through the Jackie Robinson Foundation, they have sent many students to college. And some of them are here today. Everybody in MLB is wearing Jackie's number 42 today. And this is really an outstanding day, not only for the Dodgers, but for Major League Baseball. And now fans, please welcome JRF alumna and Dodgers Foundation CEO, Nicole Whiteman to present a check for $800,000 in support of 10 scholarships over the next four years. It's now time for the words that are recited before each and every game here at Dodger Stadium. Please welcome Jackie Robinson Foundation Scholars. It's time for Dodger Baseball! 